When you walk with a cup of coffee diameter 8 cm at, at, at just the right pace of about one step per second, the coffee sloshes higher and higher in your cup until eventually it starts to spill over the top. Now we want to estimate the speed of the wave in the coffee. Let's first uh, pull out the information that we have. We have the diameter of the cup uh, equals 8 centimeters. So therefore, uh, here it's the diameter of the cup. Okay. By the way, this picture I found at the NBCnews.com and uh, UCSB uh, students have studied the slosh of coffee. Um, you might be interested uh, to find the article and read. Um, now, let's move on. At, and it says at just the right pace of about one step per second. When it says one step per second, it is really talking about the frequency. So the frequency cause one step per second or I can just write one hertz here. The coffee slosh is higher and higher in your cup until eventually it starts to spill over the top. Now, to, uh, it's asking us to estimate the speed of the waves in the coffee. Okay, well, let's try to understand what exactly is happening with the coffee and how this wave is working. So if I uh, use, um, if I try to draw in this cup, where is the wave going? You can see the wave is going up here and it will just continue on. And then the reflected wave uh, would come back. Okay, so something uh, approximately like this and it will create a standing wave. Um, with an antinod at, e at each edge of the cup. So therefore, uh, I could say that because it's from antinod to an antinod, this diameter will be equal to half of the wavelengths. So I'm gonna write diameter is the same as half of the wavelength. Okay, now that we understood this, let's go back to um, to our question, our, uh, our problem is asking us to estimate the speed of the, of the wave in a coffee uh, cup. So we know the speed equals uh, lambda times frequency and uh, frequency we already know. And then we can find the lambda from the top equation, lambda equals two times d and plug this one into here, we'll get v equals 2d times the frequency. Now let's plug in the values. Uh, that's a two times. The diameter is eight centimeters uh, times uh, frequency is one hertz. We end up uh, with a 16 centimeters per second. Um, well, obviously, uh, this is a very, very rough estimation. If you want to uh, really deeper estimate, you could consider the viscosity of the fluid. There are some more, uh, some other things that could take in, uh, take part in this study. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for other uh, problem solving uh, examples. Um, and um, Thanks for watching.